first bridge to cross the Arkansas River at 2nd Avenue in Dodge City, Kansas was a wooden toll bridge constructed by the Dodge City Bridge Company in 1873. The citizens purchased the bridge in the 1880s to remove the toll. When the county commission wanted to replace the old wooden bridge with a new steel bridge, they ran into a little problem. The bridge was going to cost more than the state allowed without a vote of the county citizens. The commission decided that inasmuch as it was the best thing to do, some of our people would vote it down so they would ignore the laws and find another way to build the bridge. They contacted the attorney general and told him that they would only build three spans of steel which kept the cost under the allowed amount and use wooden approaches at either end. He agreed that they could build the bridge without a vote, but they went ahead with the original plan. When 2nd Avenue became a state highway, the bridge was purchased by the Kansas Highway Department. In 1935, the Highway Department replaced the Steel Trust Bridge with the concrete bridge that remains in use today. The State Highway Department disassembled the six steel trusses and stored them at their yard. A short time later, the Ford County Board of Commissioners purchased the disassembled bridge for $1,000, establishing a new river crossing on the Arkansas River just east of Fort Dodge. The Coronado Bridge remained in service until replacement by a concrete bridge in 1958. At that time, the Ford County Board of Commissioners continued to utilize this strong steel truss bridge by moving it to other locations. A section was moved to Duck Creek, another to Hangman's Bridge, and two sections to its present location on the Mulberry Creek. The two other spans may have been used in southeast Ford County. The two sections of the original bridge placed over Mulberry Creek on Valley Road southwest of Ford were opened in 1959. An inspection in May of 2012 revealed a broken pin and the bridge was closed by the Kansas Department of Transportation. On closer examination, the pin turned out to be a replacement part. A hole in the center and a keyway channel down the length point toward a vehicle's axle being the source for the replacement part. Pretty clever for the day and it lasted over 60 years. This part can be replaced with a new pin. On Monday, October 15, 2012, the Ford County Engineer submitted the plans for the low water crossing to the Army Corps of Engineers, which prompted the Section 106 review. The Kansas State Historic Society determined that the bridge is eligible for the National Register and that replacement is considered an adverse effect in accordance with 106 of the National Historic Preservation Act. In the meantime, Keller appealed the Commission's decision through the court system and was denied in February 2013. So if you find yourself in that nostalgic way, just jump right in and show your age. If I only had a pencil thin mustache, the Boston Blackie kind, a two-tone Ricky Ricardo jacket and an autograph picture of Andy Devine. Now they're fixing bridges of old bent steel after trees and ice has taken them out now it just depends on your point of view just how you feel if I only had a bridge to fix then I could fix some bridges too 